Welcome to Tech Tips with Flyboys. So today I'm going to teach you how to properly time an engine to top dead center for installation of a electroware ignition system. First thing you need is a timing device. I use a digital level that was picked up at Lowe's. You also need a timing pin. First thing you want to do is find number one cylinder. In this case, this is on this light homing, it's right up here on the right front. Up here on the case, you can see where it says number one stamp right in the case, that's your cylinder. So you're going to pull the prop through until you get compression on the finger. So now that we've got that, we know we're on the compression stroke. We're going to take our timing pin and we're going to install it into a spark plug hole. For these, I use the top one because that's more easily accessible. So now that we've got the timing pan in, next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring the prop down until it just kisses the pan. Like that. We don't want to go hard so we don't bend it. We're going to take and we're going to zero out our timing device via a prop cone or a digital level here. We're going to bring it all the way back through until it just touches the pin again. So go nice and easy again so we don't create any damage to the pin or to the piston. So right there, I've got 100.9 degrees. I'm gonna bring it back and I'm gonna touch it one more time, make sure my numbers match. 100.8, we're gonna zero it out. And I should have the same thing up here on top. Bring it all the way through. And there, again, same thing, 100.8. So we're gonna zero out one more time. And we're gonna split that in half. So we're gonna take some pressure off it. We come over here, remove our timing pin. So now we're looking for 50.4 degrees, continuing to go in the direction of rotation. Take the timing pin out, pull this through, direction of rotation, again, 50.4. So there's 50.4, we're going to zero out for the final time, we're going to make a reference, 57.3 is the true for this, so in the event, so in the event this times out and shuts off, I now have a quick reference back to make sure that I'm in the right spot. At the same time, I'm going to come down here, and I am going to cite down the, the line of the crankcase to the teeth, and I'm going to mark that as well for a visual reference. Now we've got two marks. We've got a mark on the flywheel, and we've got zero here on the prop. So to make sure we are true top dead center, we're going to install the pin one more time. So we take the prop in the counter rotation, install the pin, bring it down until it kisses one more time, nice and easy. Fifty point five degrees here. Same thing. Spin all the way back around until it touches again. And same thing. Fifty point five. So now we know we are we are truly set to top dead center. So where we zeroed it out before, that is our true mark. So now we can take the timing pin out. side to side, we are done with it. Bring our prop all the way around until we get to zero. Wait. 
when you do this, you always want to go in the direct rotation so that we take out any gear lash in the back of the engine. If you find this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, give us a comment, let us know if it's working for you, if it's not working for you, and what you would like to see us do in the future. This is Adam from Flyboys Aviation. Good luck and happy flying.